Hello everybody. Uh, in this video I'm going to be going through the updates to the plugin that was formerly the color effects picker, uh, now the effects preset picker. Um, as the name implies, uh, one of the major updates is that the plugin now supports all preset types, not just color. Uh, the other major update is that it now supports custom user images. Uh, for anybody who's already purchased this plugin, your original download link will work for the updated version of this. Um, all those links have been updated to provide the most recent download. So with that out of the way, um, I'm going to go through first off the uh, user config settings that have been changed for this, uh, mostly involving that new preset type, uh, and then we're going to look at how to implement custom images into the file, uh, followed by a run of that custom built plugin. Um, the overall way this plugin works is the same, so as far as normal operation, basic operation, um, there's nothing really new to see. Um, primarily it's just the custom images that might be of interest. So we're going to start with the user config. We're going to right click or edit click on our plugin. Um, the user config settings have been kind of rearranged in order of what I figured might be priority for users. Uh, so at the very top here we have our preset type variable. It'll default to 4 which is for color, um, but you can change it now to be 2 for position or 5 for beam or whatever you want to use, um, swapping out presets in an effect. Uh, below that we have our fields for overwrite presets, same as before. If you add more than two presets here it'll start adding extra rows to the layout. Um, obviously you can only reference two presets in an effect, but if you're using it for chases or whatever um, that might be for you. Below that we have our background color. This will be the background color of the layout, same as before, um, where it'll start looking to store information for images, macros, and the layout. Um, and then below that are the naming settings, which has now also gotten the update of supporting wildcards. So we have two wildcards available. They're explained down here. Um, but basically, they're just set up so that if you change your preset type, the naming of the layout will automatically be updated with that. Um, you can change this to be whatever you want. It's not really a huge deal what you type in here. Uh, if there's a conflict, it'll let you know. So that's the overview. Again, the main thing was just that we have added our custom preset type value here. Uh, and we'll look at changing that in the custom version we're about to build with some new images. So we're going to leave that alone for now. Uh, and we're going to get going to get our images ready for the custom setup. Uh, now I'm going to import some images from a old plugin project that did not happen. So we're going to open these. I've got all these plus icons here. Um, so there are two main things that we need to have, um, two main criteria to meet before we run the builder plugin. One is that we need to have the same number of images per set that we're giving it. So by set I mean uh, in this case, back up for a second, by default we're using these empty squares as our off status images and these filled squares as our on status images. Uh, in the custom version I'm about to do, I'm going to do uh, solid squares as the off status and the pluses as the on status, uh, just to show something new being used. Um, so for each set, each status, um, we are going to need to have the same number of images. So I don't want to give it 31 images from this set, but then only 26 from this set. Uh, it'll give you an error if you try to do something like that. So we'll give it the first 26 of this set and then these 26 images. Uh, the second criteria is that they do need to be in order. Uh, unlike the Fades plugin uh, generator, um, this one does not care what it's named as far as figuring out which images pair to what. All it cares about is what order they're in. So if white is first on this set, we need white to be first on this set. Red is second, we need red to be second. Um, it can handle empty spaces, so for example if I was to move this guy over here and extend my range to meet that, that would be fine because it's still going to count 26 images total in this range. Empty spaces are not an issue. Um, what's an issue is mismatched number of actual images in that range and them being out of order. Um, it can't give you an error for them being out of order, uh, it'll just end up making something that will not create the layout that you're aiming for. Um, so with all that said, um, one last note uh, for anybody who's noticing the naming of these. Um, I've set it up specifically to ignore a prefix of um, a letter followed by two digits followed by an underscore. This is just a naming convention I've been using uh, to apply images into plugins um, up until this point. When it is presenting the images to you for selection, uh, it will ignore 
any prefix in this format, anything else, it'll probably leave it in there. So you might end up with something that says like image one, L L one, let's say I had one digit here, uh, L one, blah, 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 instead of just saying white 100. Um, so that's all that, that, that needs to really be known about that. Um, for the most part, it'll just be trying to keep um, what it can detect as the image name, but you might get some extra junk. Um, and we'll kind of see what that actually means here when we run the plugin. That probably didn't make the most sense, but it's also not the most critical thing. It is not critical to the build of the plugin, just might make your image selection look a little funny later. Anyways. Let's run the plugin. So we're going to right click on it, make sure our image, image ranges are okay. So these are the images we're using for our on status. So 589 to 614. And oops. So on 589 to 614, good. And then off, we're doing 505 to 530. So the first 26 of that. And we have 505 to 530. We're good to go. Uh, the last settings, just where it's going to try to store the plugin, um, doesn't matter what that's defaulted to. It'll find the first open space. So I'm just leaving it at one. So we didn't even change anything. So there's nothing to save. Close out, and we will run our plugin. So first off, if you make it to this screen, it's already checked out your images and has verified that they are. Um, they do meet the criteria, at least as far as count goes. If I drop this number by one and try to run it, we'll get an error message saying, uh, you gave me more on images than you gave me off images, um, and it won't run the plugin. So it will check for that first thing when it starts running. So let's go ahead and run it. It's going to ask for a plugin name. We're going to call it um, Plus Picker. Why not? Because we're using pluses. Uh, and then it'll verify the info. It'll show you which range you provided for each type of images, as well as how many images it found. Uh, the name it's going to give it, and it also attaches the version number of the build that's being used. So we'll say OK. And there's our plugin. So we hit OK on this. And now, uh, so first off, I'm going to change the preset type in here to 2, just so we can see that that is working, even though we used color images. Uh, so we'll run our plugin, say OK. And I know I've got 30 through 35 in this show file. Cool, we'll use those. Um, so here's what I was talking about. So it ignored those prefixes, but it did keep uh, like the .png at the end and all that. Um, so it's got a little bit built in just to try to keep the names of the images vaguely intelligent, but you might have to do some cleanup. Um, if you just name it, for example, like green 100, that'll work perfect. Um, that'll be the easiest and cleanest thing for it to use is no extra numbers attached, um, just the info you want to see at the screen. Um, so moving on, uh, we're going to pick our images. So since positions and colors are obviously the same thing, and then it'll build our layout. So we go check out layout number four. And here we go. So our default off status is now the filled square. And if we click on these, we see that it is swapping it out with the um, plus version of that image. So we can see that it has successfully built the plugin that we wanted it to build as far as our custom images go. Now, um, in order to export that so we can use it in other show files, um, what I'm also including in the download is a plugin called Plugin Export Reverse Compatible that does exactly what it sounds like. Um, basically, if you're exporting from version 3.9, but you might walk into a show file in 3.7, um, even though plugins, there's not any like version specific stuff it's doing, it's going to see that it was exported from a future version and it won't allow you to import it. So all this does is it exports whatever plugin you tell it to, but it'll add it edit the XML file so that it looks like it was written in version 3.0, just so any versions of MA that support plugins will allow you to import it. So um, with that in mind, do be aware that plugins generally fail really hard in version 3.125 if you have any uh, text input boxes, or was it message boxes, something like that. Anyways, <clears throat> I don't know why you'd be using 3.125 unless it's a stolen software version. But, so we're going to export the plugin. Sorry, I'm on all kinds of tangents today. Uh, export the plugin. We're going to give it plugin number three. And it's going to pull the name of that out. So we're going to say OK. And if you're an on PC, it'll open a browser for you. And there is our plugin. Uh, and if we check out this XML file, we can see that it did indeed. Yeah. We go to the end here, change our version number so it looks like it was exported from version 3.0. 
Uh, and that is it for all the updates to this plugin. So the plugin is available for download at my website, geofadesigns.com. Um, you can message me uh, through my forum on there or through Facebook with any questions, comments, or suggestions for future, future tutorials or plugins. Um, you can subscribe on here, follow me on Facebook, social media things. Uh, hope you guys find some use for these. Hope you guys enjoy the uh, custom image setup as I've had a lot of requests for that. Um, and happy programming. Thank mm -hmm. you.